new center opens for the collection of passports. Good evening, everyone. I'm LaDawn Davis. Thanks so much for tuning in. Topping the news tonight, the government has mo moved to smooth out the kinks in the collection of passports. For weeks now, the lines at the Thompson Boulevard Passport Office have been growing as applicants were confronted with a long wait time. And beginning Monday, persons whose dates have passed to collect their new e-passports can now do so at the Anatar Rogers Auditorium on Faith Avenue. The collection process begins at 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Monday to Friday. Minister of Foreign Affairs and Immigration, the Honorable Fred Mitchell, says a temporary move for passport collection is due primarily to the current working conditions at the passport office. Um, people were complaining about the long lines uh, for the issuance of passports. In other words, if you pass the existing passport building, you see people standing outside waiting to collect the passports. And uh, so what we're trying to do is to eliminate that. We've, we found the Anatole Rogers gym, which uh, I'm advised is air-conditioned, has a lot of space. So anybody who wants to collect their passport can go to the Anatole Rogers gym, at least during this rush period, to pick up the passports. So the air conditioning had broken down uh, in the passport office, and we seem to have a problem trying to get it fixed. So hopefully um, the Anatole Rogers uh, facility is more comfortable uh, for for the customers and that uh, it will be a better service until the issues at the main passport office are fixed and repaired. Persons collecting passports are reminded to take along their receipts and all passports where applicable. Signed letters of authorization and identification are also required for all third-party collections. Now the enrollment for persons applying for e-passports continues at the Thompson Boulevard location. There are over 60,000 persons without an e-passport.